Feeding the homeless. Feeding the homeless has been banned in major cities all over America. What would you do, Lewis, if you came across someone on the street, hadn't had anything to eat for several days, you had your leftovers from a restaurant, you said, why don't you have this? And then he found out that it was illegal. Um, if I genuinely wanted to give them food and thought it was helping them, I wouldn't care if it was illegal. You would risk the jail time? I don't think I'd get jail. on the feeding of homeless people. A lot of them claim that they're concerned about health risks of the, uh, you know, if you have people distributing food that who knows what's going on with the food. Is the food still good? Where is the food coming from? All of these different concerns, which is in part one of the reasons you told me, Lewis, when you worked in, during high school at a grocery store, why all of that leftover food that has ripened a little bit, the produce had ripened a little too much to be sold the next day, perfectly fine for consumption, can't donate any of it to uh, homeless shelters. Is that yeah, right? Thousands of pounds of food, perfectly good food that could go to homeless shelters thrown out just because uh, it was, quote, ripening too fast and because legally I believe that they could not uh, donate it to shelters. Philadelphia's mayor recently banned feeding homeless people in a lot of parts of Philadelphia where homeless people are known to congregate. In Orlando in June, a group of activists in Orlando were actually arrested by police for feeding homeless people in defiance of a city ordinance. Where else? Houston. In Houston, a group of people was banned from distributing food to the homeless and they were told, you're probably not going to get a permit to do so either. Las Vegas, the first major U.S. city to pass a law banning the feeding of homeless people. Again, not a problem of money. We have plenty of money to feed all of these homeless people. Problem of resource allocation and a problem of bureaucracy, right? There is absolutely no reason that if we allocate resources properly, looking at all the food that's thrown out, food that's overproduced, food that's thrown out at the retail level, etc., that all these people can't be fed. It is yet again a resource allocation problem. The food is not in the right places. Problems like grocery stores, like the one Lewis worked at, throwing away thousands of pounds of food because there's a risk that these homeless people could presumably contract some kind of uh, foodborne illness, I guess is the fear. Yeah. Resource allocation problem, not a money problem. Right. And of course, we were talking about fruit in my in my case, too. I mean, there needs to be a department to handle this. The laws need to go. There needs to be a middleman who can just say, OK, I can handle all this food and get it to where it needs to go. Absolutely. Yeah. So think twice before you feed homeless people. It may be illegal. You may be arrested for it. At least some people were, of course, in uh, Orlando, Florida.